Erev Tov Kharim, I'm Stephen Ben Denoon, and you're watching Israeli News Live, where you can be assured political correctness is not our forte. Uh, today, my wife handed me an article uh, entitled Palestinian Terrorism Funded by the EU. Uh, this came out today on the 21st on the magazine, online magazine called Front Page Mag. I wanted to read this article to you because it's very insightful here. It says, in a ploy to avoid negotiations with Israel that might actually force him to make such minimal concessions as ending the conflict with Israel and recognizing Israel as the state of the Jewish people, Mahmoud Abbas, chairman of the Palestinian Authority, the PA, can count on the European Union, the EU, to support him. That support has been both financial and political. Finally, the, uh, financially, the EU has written a virtual blank check for the Palestinians to use with no accountability. Politically, the EU has deemed the Palestinians as underdogs, deserving uncritical support. In both cases, EU support for the PA has done little to advance a lasting peace between Israel and the Palestinians. Now, I can't help to, but to remember when the EU signed their little group thing together, they did it in front of a huge statue of one of the popes there. So I'll let you know who controls the EU. And by the way, while the EU is giving away literally billions of dollars to the Palestinians, people that we know personally are suffering economically like never before in the European Union. Whether it is in misplaced guilt or fear of Arab terrorism, the EU continues to sink unaccounted billions of European taxpayer euros into corrupt administration of Mahmoud Abbas. According to the United Kingdom Sunday Times, the Palestinian Authority squandered nearly 1.95 billion euros or 2.64 billion dollars in European aid through corruption and mismanagement between 2008 and 2012. The Sunday Times reported that billions of euros in European aid to the Palestinians may have been misspent, squandered, or lost to corruption. According to a damning report by the European Court of Auditors, the Luxembourg-based watchdog, EU investigators who visited sites in Jerusalem, Gaza, and the West Bank noted significant shortcomings in management of the funds sent to, Gaza, sent, sent to Gaza and the West Bank. Gaza is controlled by the Hamas, which is classified as a terrorist organization by the EU. The auditors, according to the Sunday Times, complained about lack of measures of mitigate high-level risks such as corruption or of funds not being used for their intended purposes. Since the creation of the PA in the aftermath of the Oslo Accord signed on the White House lawn in September 1993, uh, wrong, actually it was between the Vatican and Israel in 1993, just nobody wants to admit that, uh, the EU has become the largest donor to the PA. As such, it is a responsibility to its taxpayers who in recent years have suffered the de uh, debilitating effects of global recession, uh, austerity, and chronic high unemployment. The U.S. also has a moral responsibility to ensure that its funds are not diverted to support terror. Human rights violations, the, ost uh, the ostensible reason for the EU's assistance to the PA is to help advance a lasting peace between Palestinian and Israelis. Michael Thur, chairman of the European uh, Parliament Committee on uh, Budgetary Control, writing in the Wall Street Journal, revealed in the findings of the European Court of Auditors last December that since 2007, a considerable number of PA civil servants in Gaza have received their salaries partly funded through, e through EU aid, even though they were not going to work due to the political situation in Gaza. Thurow questioned how this contributes to peace building. He also asks how the EU can preserve its credibility back home when it pays salaries to people who don't work, while millions of European citizens are unemployed. I think that's a very good point. Well, just stands to reason. The Vatican wants peace with the using the Palestinians, as Daniel clearly points out, She'll come up strong. The prince that is to come will come up strong with a small people. Palestinians are only that little tool in the works. I'm Stephen Bendenoon. You're watching Israeli News Live here in Jerusalem. Lyle, let's go.